what's up buttercup welcome to my channel today we're going to be reacting to funny memes on social media so let's get it elon musk is giving 100 million to anyone who can find a way to pull carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere or oceans and sequester it and sustainably personally i think 100 million is a bargain this is a tree this is what trees do like can you imagine being a tree and seeing this and feeling like hello like isn't that why I'm here? You might as well just come to me for that. Elon Musk at this point is so rich that he could start his own tree farm. Yeah. Like He's so bored with his money. He might as well just give it to me. I'll find something to do with it. I'll find something that makes sense to do with it. I got drunk and fell asleep on the floor last night and my dog just laid there with me. She wasn't even asleep. That is loyalty that is loyal that is the type of loyalty that everybody needs that is s tier loyalty that is why i love dogs so much like they're so loyal i had a nightmare last night and this man ain't even wake up wait what i had a nightmare last night and this man ain't even wake up like i jumped out my sleep if you can't defend me in my dreams i don't know rethinking everything Man, you need to think about seeing a therapist. What do you, what is he supposed to do? Like fight your nightmares? What do you want? What do you expect? <laughs> the hold this costume has on the black community is crazy. That is facts. Ever since this movie came out every year, every Halloween, I only see one girl wearing this costume. This costume is actually very iconic. If we're gonna take it there, we might as well say it. This costume is very iconic. Iconic. When you're 10 dangs, 20 ups, six wows, and eight men, that's crazies, and they still won't stop talking. This is a fact. This is so annoying. Especially at work on your lunch break, there's always that one coworker that's like really long winded. And they want to tell you like their life story. They always come to you to complain about their um, significant other, their kid. They're, te they're telling you about people that you don't even freaking know. And you're just like, yep, mm -hmm, that's crazy. And they just keep going and going and going. And like, you don't want to be rude and tell them to shut up. But sometimes I just walk away. And then they, they still talk or they'll find somebody else to talk to. <laughs> Mariah, the last two months of every year. <laughs> that is a, that's true. That's true. Mariah Carey at this point is the queen of Christmas. Like this is at this point. We might as well call Christmas Mariah season. It's Mariah season. Like she is the queen. This lady does not ever have to worry about working for the rest of her life because she has the Christmas song checks coming. Like she's good for life. When someone claims they miss you, but ain't text or call you all day. I need to see you in person. The best proof that you miss me is your actions. Don't tell me you miss me. Show me you miss me. Message! All of it. Mm -hmm. Take everything that was in there? Mm -mm. Huh? Yeah. I just take a little bit because the trick-or-treaters need some. Come on, baby. Yeah. It got all of it. No. Okay. They've already been here. What? Okay. Take a look it up. Okay, come on. Carry your boat. This has to be the most trash dad I've ever seen. This is some trash parenting, bro. How does the kid have more sense than the dad do? Like, she's like, okay, he's like, take more candy. She's like, well, no, I got to leave some for the other trick-or-treaters. He's like, well, they've already been here. Sir, from the looks of it, trick-or-treating is still like going on because y'all are out trick-or-treating. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be more kids after y'all leave. That is some trash ass parenting. You know what it is. I know what it is. He telling her to get some extra candy for him. That's what it is. He, 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 he using her. <laughs> He's using her to get him candy. You are trash, sir. Trash. This is, and I hate to admit it, this is literally 
This is literally my brain at three in the morning. This is me at three in the morning thinking about 5,000 things and not sleeping like it's torture and i just i can't take it it i'll be up all night like there are there are literally nights of me laying in bed just staring at the ceiling thinking about shit i could take melatonin i can listen to the most softest most beautiful most comforting music i could listen to asmr i could watch asmr nothing freaking works dude like it's so bad it's so bad dude i just want a good night's sleep i want to sleep when the uber driver misses your turn and you're trying to figure out if they're if you're being kidnapped or not that is why i have a car that is the reason why i have a car i don't i don't like i can't stand public transportation for many many reasons but ubers are just terrifying i'm the type of person in the back seat if i see you miss a turn that you should have taken i'm gonna say something because I'm suspicious about everything. And I don't trust nobody. Like not all Uber drivers are like creepy and weird, but some of these Uber drivers be just, I don't know, they're a little sketchy. Taking my girlfriend. Works tomorrow. Yeah. It's Valentine. <laughs> uh, where are you? On the floor. Where are you going to be tomorrow? Where are you going to be tomorrow? Whoa, <laughs> that is a fight. That is a fight. That's a fight. <laughs> See, this is what I never understood because I've always thought about this and like, I don't know what these are called when they're like face to face like this. And I guess they're like talking shit to each other before the boxing match. Why they be so close like that? Like all that closeness. I know the spit you like flying. You ever been talking? You ever talk to somebody, especially those people that like to get real close when they're talking to you and like. A little like sprinkle of spit like flies out from <laughs> a little like droplet of spit just flies out of their mouth and it lands on your lip. I just did it just now. Just got four drinks at the drive through and the guy asks, Do do you do you what? Do you want a cup holder? Who wrote this? A toe? If there's a New Jersey where's the old one the u.s government is hiding too many secrets me on my way to another meeting that could have been an email no but like seriously though why does it seem like these meetings these like little unnecessary random meetings always seem to happen on your day off every time like or is it just me is it just me but like there's always like this mandatory meeting. It's mundane. I already know this shit. Why do I have to come in on my day off? You could have literally told me this when I came back in the next day or whenever the hell I come back to work. Like this is stuff that you could have told me when I came back to work. Why do I have to come on my day? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come to work in my robe. Since y'all wanna drag me out my bed, to come to this stupid meeting i'm gonna come in my robe and my pajamas and i'm gonna come looking like a hot mess that's what i'm gonna do she says she wants a bad boy not a monster what the hell so you're not gonna fill that back up <gasps> no no not the french socks no there is no worse feeling than stepping in a puddle of a melted ice cube that is the worst feeling on the planet like i hate that but this person this person is on different time and he on demon time this this that's not normal they need to keep an eye on him the fbi need to watch him because he on something else in case you ever think your roommate is dumb let me one up you what is this what happened what was she trying to cook how did that end up in the stove like that i have so many questions i have so many questions i really be waking up tired like what the fuck did i even sleep for i can relate to this too oh my god my sleep is just trash at this point like my sleeping schedule is non-existent at this point, sleep for me is just a pastime. Like, 
I don't know. Like, I still fall asleep and I get my eight hours, but I still wake up feeling like shit. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, is he okay? What was that? That feels like a setup. <laughs> Why did his seat blow up like that? Why is there... Why... Why is there an airbag in his seat? All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this video. Please make sure to leave a like to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.